that's a side, uh, that's a part of Azhar's life that not many know about. Uh, they do know that she was his first wife, but nothing more than that. I was back and uh, Ikta had called me up and it was uh, a brief conversation where she said that we are planning out um, a film based on the life of Mohammad Azhruddin. And I didn't think for a second, I said, I'm definitely doing it. I didn't uh, hear the story out because I followed him uh, for those 15, 16 years when uh, he was in, uh, in our team. And uh, when he was playing, when he was a captain of the Indian cricket team. And then after that, the, the unfortunate dark phase of Indian cricket and his life when his name was taken, uh, when there was the match fixing allegation uh, drawn his name. So that was the conversation. And you know, after that, we, we drafted the script. It took around uh, a year after that. And we went on floors. Uh, Azhar Bhai actually had not okayed the script back then. He okayed it on the first, on the third draft. And then we finally went uh, on on floor and we shot the film. Well, you know, if you're doing a fictional film, there is a hundred different ways you can play a character. But when you're playing a film based on someone's life, uh, who's you know alive, flesh and blood, people have followed him. You have to be very accurate and close to as close to home as possible. But in a film of this nature, uh, it was very essential to uh, dramatize certain elements. There were the four or five songs. So, uh, yes, it has elements of being a biopic, but at the same time, it dramatizes some moments for our audience to kind of, you know, to entertain them. Because as part of our culture, the songs have to be there. And, you know, uh, there are dialogues that people are going to love uh, in, in this film. So, we've dramatized it, I would say, 10 to 20 percent. But most of it is things about cricket that uh, all of you don't know and uh, that have been shared by Azerbai with us. You know, they might have come out in the media, a lot of things, but not everything. So Azerbai has shared those very, very intimate details about the sport and his life for this film. He's a fantastic person. He's got extreme amount of patience and inner strength to deal with the stuff that he went through in his life at that point of time. After, you know, being removed from the, the sport and the team in uh, year 2000, when he was at the top of his game, I think it takes a lot of courage and inner strength uh, and patience to deal with what he had to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Come, 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 come. No, 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 no. Come. Kursi I, I thought you guys were going to take like half an hour like before. So I said. Yeah. Have you been having coffee? No, oh, it's like the Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't speak uh, for a, a particular time in the sport, and at that time, uh, you know, a lot of things were put forward. Ev eventually, it was the ju judicial system that I'm had paid sure. out its, uh, you know, uh, the the verdict, and he was acquitted of it. But uh, sports around the world, you know, they have uh, hi, how are you doing? Hi. <laughs> they have allegations that have been attached to it of match fixing, and that that is a fact. Now I can't come down to telling you which players fix matches. I can't tell you which games have been fixed because that you know anyone's guess. Uh, I, I said it. I said it. It was the toughest in this film because uh, coming like you know even close to the way Azerbaijan used to play is extremely tough you know uh, the most accomplished batsman um, had score, was the highest score, run scorer at one point of time and I was like an average to below average player so not not too much technicality which was obvious thanks to Azerbaijan he taught me these things I was more of an offside player I had to play on the leg side because that's where Azerbaijan was very strong so it took me around three four grilling months of training for cricket every day three hours every day so <laughs> yeah, so that's, you know, that was the regime back then. Uh, I am unfortunately the only one who has not met anyone. So I didn't get compliments. As yet. As yet. As Let's yet. Let's see. To come soon. Yeah, to come soon. Uh, everyone, you know, really enjoyed it. I liked it. I think they remixed it really well. and. In, made it more dancey and modern, so. Um, I, play, I play Noreen in the film. Uh, Noreen was uh, Azhar's first wife. 
uh, I think she was barely 16 when uh, they got married. It was an arranged marriage. Um, I think that's a side, uh, that's a part of Azhar's life that not many know about. Uh, they do know that she was his first wife, but nothing more than that. So in this film, I think you get to, um, you know, see that part, that part of his life. And I, I think the way it's been treated, um, and I, I just feel like everybody's going to be able to connect to it uh, because I, I did in a, in a big way. Um, and a lot many things actually about their relationship, about the nine years of their marriage, um, which, which of course, like I said, nobody knows much uh, about. I think that you get to see in the film.